Hi, we're Bullet Height. And you're watching Sounds Fair TV. I've, I've been, oh, I've been on tour. <laughs> um, I play for another band called IMX, and they kept me very busy last year with their touring as they finished their album cycle. So we released Hold Together, and then I had all these tour plans, so we had to kind of keep everything in line with the release strategy uh, to follow when the IMX tour had stopped. Um, so that's where I've been. I haven't really been hiding. I've been readily available. It's <laughs> just uh, all over the world. Uh, wild Words is about um, wild words that are spoken in the heat of the moment. Um, and then, you know, after that, the, the guilt and regret that we have for what we've said. Um, and then the aftermath that comes. Um, and then finally, you know, repairing the damage that's done. Inspiring. Um, at the moment, <clears throat> I'm running a lot and I'm getting out really early in the morning, like getting out at like six o'clock, seven o'clock, and just running through this beautiful park near me, Treptow Park. And yeah, I find that really inspiring. It really clears, clears your head. Um, you've got this, yeah, through the trees and the light at this time of year is really nice. So for me, exercise and nature is inspiring. This is going to sound really boring but uh, in comparison, but um, I'm at the moment planting a chili garden and uh, I don't find it to be necessarily inspiring, but it's something that I like to do. I'm gonna, I've got like three of the hottest plants and I'm uh, going to see oh, how... Wow, what are you doing there? I'm, I'm going to try to make my own hot sauce. Wow. So um, yeah, I've got a chili garden and we'll see how that goes. Can you make me a jar of this chili sauce? I don't know if you can handle it, John. Okay, yeah, you, go, you go hot. <laughs> we'll see. Being in the same place at the same time, uh, we we both travel a lot, so it, it is very difficult for us to uh, to schedule ourselves to be in the same place at the same time. I mean, that's how it has been as I've been on tour quite often. Um, but nowadays, um, I'm not so sure. What's so difficult? My biggest challenge, um, I don't know, to to get our music out to as many people as possible. Yeah. Um, is that pretty standard? Transport from from. <laughs> The rehearsal room <laughs> to the gigs, that's pretty difficult. That's a challenge. <laughs> Mine was um, the Wham Best of the final when George Michael died. I was oh, a big, okay. big Wham fan. You threw that, that last part in, I was and, like, what? <laughs> and I just, it was sad. And yeah, he was a great songwriter, production's great, and I listened to a lot of Wham. All right. I would say uh, it was very long time. It was a very long time ago when it came out. But I would say uh, Event Sevenfold's Nightmare. Uh, I think that's what it was called. Um, just because that was they. It was a very personal album for them, and they released uh, they released a song that the drummer had handed in right before he had committed suicide, and they kept his original scratch vocals on it. And listening to that was just very uh, hair raising. And then listening to the rest of the album of how they dealt with it. Um, it did a lot, a lot of emotion in that. Touring. Touring, definitely. Getting out there and harvesting my chili garden. <laughs>